All right, now I just wanted to take a quick moment and show you some of the view options that we have here in MiniBridge, which is the drop down menu right next door to the guy that we were just on, way down in the extreme bottom right hand corner, this guy here. So go ahead and click on that guy. Now, what we can do, the first item here we have is show items in pages. So if I go ahead and choose that guy, what happens is I lose the vertical scroll bar inside Bridge, and now I have page one of four with a pair of navigation arrows. So that's the idea there, viewing in pages. So now all of my thumbnails are sort of grouped into their own individual pages, which is kind of cool, kind of neat. You can certainly make use of that if you want. Now. In addition to viewing your thumbnails in pages, the other thing that I can do is I can say show thumbnail only. In other words, I don't want it to say bird.jpg or boat.jpg. I just want to see the photo itself or the, the graphic itself. So I can certainly turn on that option if I want from the view menu. So show thumbnail only. The third option that I have at the top here is called Gridlock. And I'll turn that guy on, and now all of my thumbnails are locked into this sort of this grid that you can see, these vertical and horizontal lines that show up between all of my image thumbnails. So again, you can certainly make use of that if you want. I'm gonna go and turn off all three options at the top of this view menu here. So I'm gonna get rid of this show items and pages. Now we're all the way back to where we started. We now have the vertical scroll bar back, we have our file names back, and the grid lines are now gone. Okay. Now, what else do we have here? Well, I'll pop open this menu once again. We can view our graphics as thumbnails, which is the default, by the way. That's what we're looking at right now. We can choose as film strip, and now I have a horizontal scroll bar rather than a vertical scroll bar. So now I have something like this, right? You can certainly use that if you wish. I also have as details, which you may like. So when we choose this view, we get the image thumbnail we also get the file name and then we get some additional information. For example, the creation date, the modification date, the file size, and also the document type or the file format. So you might find some of this information useful, right? For example, again, there's my boat thumbnail, boat.jpg, when it was created, when it was modified, and also the file size. So again, that's the details. Now, if you want, you can also switch to the last view, which is as list. And now we get something like this. We have sort of a, a much smaller thumbnail there, for example, the file name, the creation date, and then any rating that may have been applied to the graphic and also any labels that may have been applied to the graphic. And I don't think I have any ratings or labels at this point. No, it looks like these columns are empty here for me anyway, but that's the, the final view that we have. So it's entirely up to you how you wanna set this up. Myself personally, I usually just leave the defaults as thumbnails and I don't mind the file name being there. That's just fine. That often helps me out. But usually what I'll do is I'll increase the size of my thumbnail so I can fit two of them side by side, two columns. That's my own personal preference. You can set up your mini bridge exactly the way you want. That's the great thing here. As you can see is it's almost infinitely flexible. You can set it up however you want.